Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just checking everyone here so that more people can see this. Cool, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. So today I'm here with my man, Ricky. Um, as you can see, I'm not Bill. <laughs> Many of you, I guess, I guess most of you guys don't know me, and that's because I work in the background. I co founded the objection box with Bill about nine months ago, and I've been running the marketing for the whole time. So I've had the chance to see the transformation that all of our students are having after they become uh, an elite client. And today we have the pleasure to be here with Ricky, who from my point of view, Ricky, you have one of the most, I, I would say one of the biggest transformations, just because of like where you were before you joined elite, and the feedback I've, I've, I've heard from all the coaches that have, that, that have worked with you, it's amazing. They speak highly about your dedication. They speak highly about how, how hard you've worked. And that's something that I want to talk about with you today so that people watching this video can actually relate with you and, and, and see how it's not about being born a sales guy, a good sales guy. It's more about developing the right skills, of course, with the right guidance. So. Yeah. Um, why don't, why don't we start by maybe you telling us a little bit about yourself? What do you sell? What do you do? Um, so I guess the backstory is I first had like a regular nine to five, just like a lot of people do. I was working as an engineer and I got tired of that. So I decided to make the leap. And so I started my own marketing agency and that started taking off. It started doing well, but then I yeah. impulsively decided to quit because I had shiny object syndrome. And so I went for starting my own e-commerce store and then that went to shit. And so from there I was like, all right, well, I was pretty good at sales when I was doing the agency, but I don't want to have clients. And so that's how I got into the high ticket space. And so that okay. was around last May or something when I first got started, like looking so at like the whole space. Not even one year ago, not even yeah. 12 months. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I was like, I think I can do this. I think I can do this because I had closed some, uh, some clients with the agency, yeah. but completely different. It's, and, uh, I read the Jordan Belford book. That's literally the only thing I had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and so I was like, all right, I can be a closer. I can do this. And so I, I got into it. I got into some like terrible offers and I wasn't closing anything typical story. And then I got into Sales Sniper into the boot camp, and I got my first. That's how I found out about Bill, actually, right? About Bill, yeah, yeah. And so basically, it was just an awful terrain, just like getting my mindset, you know, just defeated, like literally. Uh, yeah. Like I didn't know where to go, man. Like I literally not know where to go. I was not making any money, and the last thing that I wanted was having to go back to my nine to five, right? And yeah, so, of course, of course. Yeah. It's, it's funny how, how so many of us get into high ticket sales because we were just looking for some way, some vehicle that would allow us to make more money. And yeah. many of us start with agencies or uh, coaching programs and we realize how hard it is to actually yeah. do your own lead gen and sales. Yeah. And most yeah. of us end up, end up liking more the sales part of it. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay, so how long have you been working with us? Remind me of that. I started, I started at the, like, basically in September. I think I started like September. August like 29th or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, by, by, at that time, what were you selling? Nothing. I wasn't Nothing. selling. Anything. Yeah. Okay. No, I was, okay. I was barely. So I was on this other fitness offer, but then I left it because it was awful. Um, okay. And so then I just came with Bill and I was like, I don't, 
have an offer. I don't have any experience, but yeah. I'm willing to, if you, dude, if you help me, man, get an offer. If you, and he was like, he would, he would message me. He's like, I'm going to help you, bro. I'm going to help you. And I was like, all right, man, let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> He's actually talking to me. He would actually talk to me. So, yeah. 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 And you, you took, you, you actually took the leap of faith because we get yeah. that. Let's call it an objection. A lot people thinking that because they don't have the right offer or any offer, it makes no sense for them to be coached by Bill yet. But then what we always tell them is that if they had the right skills, yeah. they would be in a better position to get into an, any offer or a better yeah. offer. What would you think? Yeah. What do you think even, about that? Even if you um, are trying to prospect for jobs like as a closer like how do you feel yeah. confident going into asking for a role if you don't have the skills like you can't fake it man you know like yeah. even when you yeah. say hi you're like hey do you have a do you have a job do you have a role for me like it's not confident right like yeah. it, like the way that you come across is the first impression you know and so as my skills got better i just got more confident you know like when somebody would ask me you want to role play i'd be like yeah it's, Let's do it like easy right and so yeah it, that's what got, gave me the confidence and then the results and then the relationships and then yeah. like little little now it's like because of the network here yeah and people actually see your results it's all like it's all in there even if it's yeah. not directly it happens indirectly yeah exactly i mean 100 percent. we agree with you 100 because that's exactly what we tell everyone who is thinking about working with us but has that concern about not having an offer or the right offer. Coming into a lead allows you to network with people who are in the same industry. When they know you're being, you are being developed by Bill and our team, you're using our method, then, I mean, that immediately gives them trust in, what, in, in your skills and what you can do for them. Yeah. Um, and we actually get a lot of people asking us, business owners asking Bill if he has any sales reps he would recommend. And we've actually placed a couple of people, even though we don't do that as a business, right. right? So please, now don't, anyone, don't go message Bill about that being placed. First, come to a lead, and then we can talk about that. It's going to happen, as Ricky said, even directly or indirectly, right? Um, yeah. So Ricky, what would you say was like the biggest, what was the biggest challenge that you had in sales uh, with the roles you had or landing? Uh, an offer before you joined elite yeah in the beginning it was like where are these offers at like where are these people at making 10k per month where are these people making 20 like i didn't know any of them right yeah and so and you know you would see the facebook posting like yeah you can make 10k per month here right and i would apply and it was like that fitness offer and it was dude not a chance it's like because the business owner was making you know 60k in revenue per month i was like that doesn't make any sense like yeah i can't no way i can make 10k right it's important so yeah and I mean, they're basically lying, dude, honestly. And so you, 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 I was like, this world is crazy. It's like chaotic, honestly. If you come in here and you think it's going to be the same as getting an, uh, like a W2 job, it's like, you're going to get nah. smacked. Like everybody does. Yeah. And yeah. so I was just, I need somebody to guide me. Basically, that's what I said. And so finding the offer was the first thing. But then I realized that I felt that I could just go into the offer. Once I was in the offer, I was going to get good enough because they were going to take yeah. care of doesn't work that way, right? You actually have yeah. to be at a certain standard once you actually yeah. get in there. That's when it, the whole development just started, right? Just with Bill. And so yeah, the hardest part sense. was the offer, but then as I got into the network and everything, and I realized that, holy shit, like my skills are nowhere near where they need to be. And yeah. because I, come, I, I came from being in that one fitness offer where they just slapped that script in front of me, right? And so yeah. I was trying to find the script. And then that's how little by little, uh, I, I started with the NEPQ stuff, which gave me some insight. I was like, okay, they're like, there's frameworks, right? And yeah, then there's a different way. Yeah. And then you start understanding these frameworks where you put yourself into the framework, right? Because all conversation is different. So it has to be you yeah. that uses the framework, like how, yeah, you, yeah. how you would actually use it naturally, right? And so that's yeah. where the, that's where the work comes in, man, because it's just reps, right? Yeah, reps. Now, I mean, you said something very important. You touched on something that I think it's key. Um, you said that you by 
joining a lead, the main thing you got in the beginning was confidence. Yeah. And that confidence, like, I mean, you, you actually, like people can sense it when they interview. I, I, I've interviewed personally, uh, I would say at least 50 sales reps because um, I had a sales manager position in the past. And like, you could, you could feel it. At times it wasn't even about the skill they had initially because we, we knew, I knew we could develop them but more about like, are they even confident about what they're doing? Like, are they, is this person showing me, telling me like that he or she is someone that it's willing to do the work? So yeah. that, what you said there is very important. Now um, you mentioned a couple of programs, couple of methods that are there. Many of them are very good. Uh, yeah. But why did you then decide to work with us? What do you see in Bill, in the method we teach in our results that motivated you to work with us specifically? I resonate a lot with, you know, I was in sports back in school and um, just like the, the influencers or the people that I listen to a lot, they're just hard asses, right? And so I resonate a lot with that type of personality. So when I found out about Bill, I was like, this guy's legit, you know? And so that's just for me personally, I just resonated with that. And then the fact that I started DMing him and he was the one actually talking to me yeah. and I mean, then I jumped on one of the free calls and I was like, I mean, I just don't see how this is. And then I started seeing all the wins. I mean, the wins are just insane. And so yeah. at that point I was like, I mean, let's just do it. And I, I talked to people that were already inside things like, you know, I did my yeah. whole close myself and basically, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, I mean, that's, that's usually how it goes. Like yeah. people hear about what we do from someone else that's getting results. They get yeah. into our community. They see the results. They see the trainings. They see how even in the free trainings, how much Bill explains, how much Bill cares when he role plays with anyone, when he gives feedback to anyone. Yeah. Um, and then that just makes them wonder like, well, if this is what I'm getting for free, what am I going to get when I pay? Like it's going to be yeah. 10 times more. And what do you feel like when you've actually paid us, you joined the program, you invested in yourself, you trusted yourself in Bill, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was your first impression when you started like now going through the trainings inside the, 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 the program and the role plays and the coaching calls? Yeah. At first I underestimated it. Not going to lie. I was like, Oh dude, now I'm here. I'm just going to learn it. Go learn what's up. Yeah. No, dude, it's, it's like, it, it, cause it's, it's simple, man. It, it, it's simple, but it's really hard, honestly, because it's about adapting you to the, to the framework. It's, there's no script. And so you have to learn the framework and like you use it for you and also adapt it to the different offers that you're in. So it's really, it's, 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 it's a lot on you. And so in the beginning, I was trying to just use the questions that are given, which provide you a guide of like how to navigate it, but they not show up to an install call. I'm not making sales. And Bill's was like, you're not doing what I'm asking you to do, man. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm asking the questions. <laughs> no, dude, you're not, you're not doing what I'm asking you to do. Yeah, and so that was about the like, questions. Oh my God. Like, okay, role play, role play, role play, try again. I need to get an offer. Literally took me two months to finally get a good closing role. And I made no sales, <laughs> zero sales, got fired, right? And just like get back on, get, got back on the horse, man, you know? And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it is true. Like most people ask us when they join any of our programs, family elite, um, yeah. they start asking about the script, like we're going to get the script and oh, let's yeah. work on my script. And we do give you guys the script. Um, yeah, yeah. We have a framework, right? But at the end of the day, the result comes from mastering that framework. And as you said, make it in, make it, making it your own, something that you feel comfortable with yeah. that's simple and that's still persuasive. That's why most of our guys, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're one of those, but most of our guys are in multiple offers, selling yeah. fitness in one offer, and then they're selling e-com in, some, in, like in another offer. Right. Two completely different niches, and they're, they're just crushing it in both offers. That's because they mastered the framework, not a yeah. specific script, right? Exactly. I mean, exactly. that, that makes sense. What would you say has been like the biggest result you've, that you have now because of joining Elite? because of working with Bill and our methods? Um, honestly, man, for me personally, like just like as a human being, like I feel like 
sales just made me a better communicator, just better in my relationships, like just as me personally. And then as far as the results goes, like, dude, I feel like I'm just getting started. Like it's, yeah, like I feel, I still feel like I'm the person that I was like six months ago. And so I'm just trying to work as hard as possible to never go back to that. Right. And so, yeah. yeah I mean, but I heard gonna... you're crushing it. I, I heard you, I, I think you closed uh, 120,000 just recently yeah. uh, in a month. And I think you were, no, you were not even working full time that month specifically. On that offer. Yeah. Cause I, I still, I was transitioning for my other offer. And so I made some deals on that one, but yeah. Um, the part-time offer I did 111. So that was no. <laughs> a lot of, a, a lot of sales, like a, a lot of high ticket closers are working, working full time and they don't get to close that much. So that's amazing. Good job. Yeah. bro. Good job. Yeah. Um, one, one question that um, most people don't like answering. Well, they, they do answer it, but they don't really yeah. go deep. Um, what, what, where do you, where do you think you would be, honestly, if you would have not joined uh, Elite five months ago? I mean, maybe I would have seen some improvements, right? But I wouldn't have, I know for a fact, I wouldn't be on the offers that I have because everything came from me joining the, the, the objection box because I met a guy that, you know, uh, somebody else that wasn't an offer, right? Role played with them. Like, dude, you got an offer, man. I'm trying to get an offer. Let's do it. I got you, bro. You know, you make friends. And then yeah. that leads to another thing. So all the offers that I've been on have been because of Bill. Or the ejection box, man. Yeah. Just because yeah. of the network. Everyone's super helpful. Yeah. Yeah, we have a good community. And it's, it's crazy because people stick around even after they are done with the program. Yeah. They, they stay in the community. They keep role-playing. They keep developing themselves, which is actually very good. What would you say, last question, man, because um, I know you have, to, you have a call in about 30 minutes. Um, yeah. What would you tell anyone who, who's maybe on the fence, who's maybe looking at the results, like they're, they're, they're see the results we post, they see this interview, they know they're not where they want to be um, with their closing rate, with the amount of money they make. Um, but they have not booked the call. They have not made a decision to join. What would you tell them? I don't know, dude. That doesn't make any sense to be on the fence, honestly. I don't, I don't know how many more wins you want to see. <laughs> like, it's, it, it's a no-brainer, man. It, it honestly is. It's, it's all there. The network. Yeah. The, I mean, I know. I mean, the investment, I guess, man. You know, but it's not... It's not a crazy investment, you know. Like it's not, it's not terrible. Yeah, no, I, don't I know. keep, I keep, I keep telling Bill to, that we have to raise the investment because yeah. now, right now, I think we have about a thousand testimonials. So as you said, like, what else do you want to see? How many more I, wins? And you get to talk to see? free on the free calls, and you actually get. To, I don't know what coach, what other coach actually does that. Actually DMs yeah. you, and he actually talks to you. So. Yeah. That's just a reflection of the way that you're going to get treated inside, right? Yeah, definitely. I think that's the biggest. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, like it's Bill, right? That, I mean, is leading it. But the other coaches like Ben and now James and Nick and Liam, I mean, they're all super helpful, man. Yeah. yeah like and everyone's... all of those guys you just mentioned, they are coaching you guys. And at the same time, they are closing yeah. their own offers. And... Uh, most of them are doing multiple high five figures per month. Yeah. yeah. Right. Which is crazy. And you can see like when you role play with them, you can see that there's a, another level, yeah. but we're, we're taking you guys there. That's a, that's the idea. Any, any last words, man, before we go here? Um, I don't know, man. Um, I would, I don't know. I don't know why people are on the fence. Like if they're trying to get, if, if honestly, if you, if you are trying to be elite and are okay with being told what you need to fix and like the harsh feedback, it really is harsh feedback because it does smack you in the face, but it just snaps you out of it, man. And you really do get really good. 
if you get good fast. Because I, dude, I had no experience on like zero. So it's just about literally getting in there and role playing and yeah. getting on getting on a solid offer that's going to allow you to hit your income goals. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, bro. That's right. Thanks, man. Thank you for taking the time to jump on a call today. I know Bill wants to interview you again in maybe a couple of weeks uh, when we get <laughs> even more results from you. Keep sharing yeah. those wins. Keep crushing it. Um, for anybody else watching now live or at the replay, if you want to know more about how, if you just at least want to explore the idea of possibly working with Bill and our team so we can help you get results like Ricky, so we can help you three, five, ten x, and we've literally helped people 10x their com comms in just weeks. If you want to see what are the chances of you getting those results, just comment hashtag elite or DM Bill and he'll speak with you directly. You guys will discuss and see if it's a good fit for you and how we can help you get started. Thank you very much for your time, bro. Thank Amen. you everyone who jumped in. See you soon. Bro.